Hey YouTubers, it's Platt, and today we're here to talk about the American Lager. Uh, last week we reviewed the American Light Lager, this week uh, we talked about the American Lager. Think of it as the father, the predecessors to the American Light Lager. Uh, beers that kind of fall in this range are your Miller High Life's, your Pabst Blue Ribbons, your Coors Original, and of course Budweiser falls into this. Um, to run down the numbers real quick, our SRM is going to be between 2 and 4. These are still very light colored beers, just like American Light Lager. Uh, as far as IBUs go, uh, we're in the range from 8 to 18. Not a lot of hops in these beers, but there's not a lot of malt, so you, the balance, you don't need a lot to uh, balance. And uh, ABV on these beers is going to be between 4.2 and 5.3. This is where we do see a... A nice little jump from those American light loggers we reviewed last week. Um, characteristics or what to look for in these beers. Like I said, these are still very light beers. But compared to last week, when you taste these beers, you'll notice a, a jump. Um, again, the ABV jumps a decent bit. And you'll, you'll pick up a little more body in these beers. These are still very light bodied beers. As far as, as the color goes, we went last week from a very pale straw color. Now we're going into more of a generic straw, even maybe a medium lightish yellowish tint. So we're going to start to pick up a little color on these beers. Um, you're still very thirst quenching, still very uh, uh, light on the palate beers. Uh, some even might have a hint of sweetness, and that's because there's so little hops in there that you really you don't even pick up enough of the hot bitterness you still kind of taste some sweetness uh, part of that is because they also use adjuncts uh, what makes these beers uh, these beers are normally on the cheaper end of the range as far as price and part, part of that is they use adjuncts corn or rice solids uh, in the beer that helps bring the cost down that also kind of makes them just lighter like little sweeter beers. Um, these are the beers actually of the great beer barons that uh, the German beer barons that came in in the mid 1800s and started building the great large breweries, the Schlitz, the Millers, the Anheuser-Busch's of the world. These were the beers they were doing a, Pil a Pilsner style lager uh, here in the US. Uh, people working hard, they wanted something refreshing and these were the flagship beers of those major breweries. And then after Prohibition World War II, when we just went to a few big national breweries, the, this is the predominant style of beer we still drink today here in America, even though the light beers have become huge. So let's try this American lager. We're trying the King O beer, as they say, a Budweiser. Give her a pour. And as you can see, very light color still. We have a little soft white head that won't stay long. Plenty of bubbles. You can already tell it's highly carbonated. Let's give her a little smell. Yeah, not, not much hop aroma. Uh, you can pick up a little kind of malt. Sweetness, but uh, <laughs> in no way is this a big, big beer. Let's give her a try. Very light, very refreshing. Carbonated. These are. This is a drinkable beer. Um, I do hit, and I've always gotten this on Budweiser. I do get a hint of sweetness, and again, that's because there's not a lot of hops in there, and. Um, and so that hot bitterness or whatever um, is not there to kind of neutralize what little malt there is in there. Um, I'll say this about drinking Budweiser. Uh, maybe it's just me, but every time I drink it, it does kind of remind me of the first beer I ever had. Or first time you drink a beer. If you think about that experience in your teenage years or whatever, that, you know, even a Miller Lite or something like that had some flavor or whatever. And compared to, again, the American Light Lager, this starts to have a little flavor uh, to it still. Obviously, when we start getting to European 
lagers and the Belgian ales. Flavor-wise, this didn't even come close. But we have taken a step up from that American light lager a little bit. Um, overall, though, this is a good working man's beer, and that's what it was created for. And uh, this, this is the beer that kind of conquered America. Um, so even if you're a beer snob and you you like your barley wines and Doppelbox and what have you, appreciate this beer for what it is. Just um, kind of an American classic. Ah. Well, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please subscribe down below. Also, feel free to share any comments or any questions or concerns you have in the comment section below, or you can always contact me on the Twitter page. Well, until next time, bottoms up.